what's going on guys what's up with you this is malcolm and you're on malcolm talks i appreciate you um i really really do man how y'all feeling y'all doing all right okay cool 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 you know i want to talk to you guys about people who send long emails this has become a pet peeve of mine and i hope that you don't do this too you know long emails will be the reason why things don't get done. You know, and on top of that, man, I'm gonna just rant a little while about long emails. See, it's certain people that send long emails. It's usually the people that talk a lot. So they send a long email as well. And then what they'll say is, if you ask them, you say, hey, I just wanted to get clarification on such and such. They'll be like, well, let's send my email from such and such. Oh, so you want me to go back to that long email and you want me to read all that email over again? It was a dissertation. I don't have time to be reading through a whole bunch of stuff that doesn't even matter until I get to paragraph 27 where it really matters. You hiding stuff in paragraph 27. The emails are too long. And it pisses me off. I think it's imperative that we look through our email before we hit send and go through every sentence and every paragraph two or three times to reduce the wording. Challenge yourself to get to the point quicker. Challenge yourself to put the most important stuff at the top, knowing that everybody is not gonna read through that email and dot every I and cross every T. It pisses me off. <coughs> so if you writing long ass emails, I'm gonna tell you right now, ain't nobody reading that shit. And if they are, they lame as hell because they up at night laying in bed with their laptop on their lap looking at your long ass emails long ass emails long ass emails man they reduce the productivity in an organization guys they reduce the productivity in an organization guys long ass emails we gotta stop we gotta stop this and no, I'm not saying that you're supposed to send an email that's only three words either. You can pick up the phone for that. We still got phones, guys. You can pick up the phone. You can text me. But not long-ass emails. And if you're going to send a long-ass email, okay. If you, if you absolutely have to send a long-ass email, fine. But please, 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 don't send multiple long ass emails. Give me one long ass email, man. Synthesize, condense, and consolidate all your long ass emails and put them in one email. I'm not going back looking at 72 emails and they all long as hell. Are you crazy? I have other things that I need to do throughout this day than to read them long as emails. So I implore you, if you work in a business where there's a lot of emailing and a lot of CCing and a lot of key keying, hey, realize, man, don't, don't do that. Because if I was your manager, if I was your boss, if I was your boss and I and I catch wind that you sending long emails and you expecting people to get stuff done and you you hiding important messages in the body of long ass emails and people have to dissect it like they dissecting a pig in chemistry class, I might I might come around there and slap by at you, man, in the um, in the cubicle. I'm just telling you, that's how serious it is, man. We gotta stop this, man. We're better than this. 
but this is Malcolm. You're on Malcolm Talks. It pisses me off, but I'm good now. I got my chance to vent. I appreciate you guys watching. Comment down below if you send long ass emails or you know what I'm talking about. It's infuriating. But I'm going to holler at you guys next time.